Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Today's video we're going to talk about the ups and downs of farming. More specifically this big guy. Say hey Jelly Bean. Say hello. <laughs> Y'all are going to want to stick around for this one. Introducing Jelly Bean. We got him when he was almost two and he has been such an asset to our farm. We love him. He is such a sweet, um, pulled, very gentle registered Brahma. Um, he has thrown some really nice calves and we're, we're so blessed to um, have been able to, you know, use him for at least two years on our farm. But we've kind of run into a little problem. We got time to put him on our cows and they started cycling, you know, multiple times. We decided that we had to, you know, get him checked out and see what's going on. Well, it kind of turns out that he, is, um, he has lots of sperm, but they are all dead. So the vet suggested, um, you know, that he maybe had gotten sick, had a fever, and we could give him some antibiotics and some multi men and, you know, give him some more time and maybe have him retested. So we did that and still the same issue and it's just it's so heartbreaking because we had planned on keeping him till the wheels fell off there was a man that saw us at the vet that came over and introduced himself and told us that um before we took him to the cell barn to bring him over to his place that he raised bucking bulls and if he would buck that he could help us sell him and he could still have a long healthy life so, y'all stick around to find out what happens. There you go. I got him. We'll let him go through and we'll bring him back. Let him check I want to tell you about the primer. Uh, he's uh, a good primer is worth something. It's worth a lot actually if they're if they're really good. And you can't really tell nothing off one trip. And I might I, if, he, if he bucks, I can get y'all a lot more what he'll kill for. But the way to make money on a bull like that is to roll the dice if he bucks. Send him to somebody and let him buck him a few more times. Yeah. But you can buck a, a hundred of those bulls right there, and you might get one, you know, that'll work. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but when they do work, they're worse than because you don't see them like that no more at rodeos. They've crossbred, crossbred them so much just like that one out there. Mm -hmm. They've crossbred them so much that they bred all the brimer out of them pretty much. Every once in a while you'll see a brimer, and like I said, they're worth something. I'm surprised. Oh. You mind if we put you on YouTube? Well, uh, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> People know me there say, Jelly Buck in a briner? <laughs> he knows better. Than... Uh, we're ready. <laughs> See that hanging down there? Yeah. Can you reach it with that, with that hook and pull it to you? Don't ever break your hand now. Do what now? Don't ready break the hammer and you reach in there again. Pull it over to you. There you go. Pull it out and hold it. And I'll get it up here. Alright. Smart man. Smart man. Yeah. He's done that a time or two. Easy, baby. Alright. 
Yeah, see what you mean about him getting wore out before you even get started. Yeah, I mean, usually whenever I do it, it's, it's just a couple people like us. I hate starting new ones whenever there's people everywhere and kids running around hollering, dogs barking. Yeah. With one like this, they will just get too stirred up. <laughs> Thank you.